Pixverse is one of the best AI video generator tools that can create stunning AI video with text and image input. In this AI tutorial, I will show you how to create AI video with Pixverse AI and introduce you to the new feature of this AI called Magic Brush. You will learn how to use Pixverse AI Magic Brush tool, customize AI video motion, and move anything in your AI video the way you want. Join me to see the power of this AI tool. I'll show you how to use Magic Brush with several examples and give you tips on each one. Open Pixverse AI website. Join Discord community or start on the web. Log in with Google account or Discord or add your email and password. Here, you can see some videos created by other people. You can click on each one and see the details that this video was created with. To start, press the Create button. To use Magic Brush, click on Image tab. I use this image for the first example. Here, upload your image. By pressing this icon, you can delete this image and upload another one. Click on the Magic Brush. We have two tabs. In Select Magic Brush area, you can select the area you want to animate with the brush. In Draw Magic Brush Direction, you can add arrow and set the direction of movement. When you want to delete the arrow, move the mouse over it to see the hand icon, then click on it and press this icon, or you can press the undo button to cancel your last action. When you press reset area icon, all your selection in this tab will be removed. Here, you can select the brush. We have six brushes. This means you can select six different parts in your images and move them in different directions. From here, you can change the brush size. With the eraser, you can clear the selected area. At the bottom of the image, you can see some parts that are detected by the tool. When you click on each item, this area will be selected. You can use these parts, or you can select the area with the brush. I want to select three parts and animate them. I select each part with a brush. Now, I set the direction of movement for each part. When you determine the direction for each area, you should use the same brush color as the area. For each area, you can draw one arrow. Arrows can be drawn anywhere, not necessarily on the selected area. The length of the arrow affects the amount of movement. It is recommended to control the length appropriately. When you're done, click the Confirm button. It's optional to use simple text prompt. For now, I try without text prompt. You can change the camera motion, but based on what they said, it can affect motion strength. I won't change the camera motion, but you can test with it. Here, you can change motion strength, higher value, more movement. You can change the seed number. Same seed can cause to the same result. Select random number, or you can use seed number from your previous generation. Press the create button and wait for the result. See the result. You can download the result from here. If you want to delete the result, move the mouse over the three dots and press delete file. You can upscale the result from here and get the result with higher quality. If you press the retry button, you can try to generate another result with the same settings. With the go create button, you can see all your settings. And if you want, you can change the settings and create a new result. For the second example, I will use this image. Upload the image. Press the magic brush. With the first brush I want to select persons. I want to select the river. If I select it with the same brush, I can't add separate arrow for their movement. So, I use the second brush and select the river. Now, click on the direction tab and set the arrows for each brush. Each brush, one arrow. Press the Confirm button. Change the settings based on your needs. Press the Create button. Note that, if you active HD quality, it can cause longer generation time. The person's movement is good, but the river's movement is very slow. I press the Go Create button. Edit the arrow, then change the motion strength and seed number and create again. This is the result.
For the third example, I use this image. Upload the image. Press the magic brush. I want to show blinking. I tried many times by selecting two eyes, but it doesn't work for me. So, I test with one eye. Use different brushes. Set the arrows. Now, I don't want to move another part in this image. Press confirm. I write blinking in the prompt section. I change motion strength. You can use a low or high value. Press the create button. This is the result. First time when you log into Pixverse AI, you will get 200 tokens. Click on the tokens to see the pricing plans. In the free plan, you see you have 50 tokens per day. These tokens will be updated every day. Each video generation consumes 10 tokens. So, with each account you can create 5 videos per day. If you need more tokens, you can use other plans. Share your experience with this tool in the comment. Thanks for watching.